Here's a Moto G 5G, the 2020 model, and you have an issue where you're stuck in a boot loop where you keep seeing the boot loop where it turns black, then you see the Motorola logo, and then it's in a continuous uh, restarting cycle, okay? Now, this one here is fixed, but I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now, okay? If you guys follow all, all the steps, I'm going to say at least 80% of you guys should be back up and running, okay? And these are all easy steps. doesn't require anything to do with taking the phone apart. You can all do this right now at your home, okay? So first thing is let's pretend I'm stuck in a uh, boot loop here. First thing you want to do is if you have a case on here, take the case off. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and use the power button to restart it, okay? So let's pretend I'm, st I'm stuck in a boot loop here. It keeps um, restarting, okay? So here's the uh, power button. What you want to do is press and hold that power button and don't let go until we see the Motorola logo, okay? So pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop. Here's the power button here. Ready, set, go. Press and hold that power button and do not let go. Just keep holding on to it. Don't worry about what was happening to my screen. Let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop. I'm holding on to this power button, okay? Now it's turning black. Now when I see the Motorola logo, let go. There it is. Go ahead and let go and let it boot up normally and hopefully you are now out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in a boot loop, then we're gonna to go to the next possible step. Okay, so you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. So next thing I want you to do is this. Now we have a power button right here, okay? So what I want you to do with the power button, I just want you to press it in and out three times kind of hard, okay? So power button here, ready? One, two, three. And the reason why we're doing that is because if your power button is stuck, jammed, or maybe there's something, uh, there's lint in there, or maybe you got coffee in there or soda, it can cause a boot loop and other issues with the phone as well. Okay, so now we did that with the power button. Now next thing is go ahead and plug your phone in with the charging cable. So we're gonna plug this in just like that. And again, while it's charging now, Leave it plugged in for five seconds, okay? So after five seconds now, let's pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here and it's charging now. We're gonna do the same thing with the power button, okay? We're gonna press and hold until we see the um, Motorola logo, okay? So power button and it's charging. Ready, set, go. Press and hold, do not let go. Don't worry about what's happening to my screen here. Let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop. I'm just holding onto that power button, waiting for that Motorola logo to appear, okay? So just wait, okay, now when you see the Motorola logo, let go. Now there it is. Now go ahead and let go and let it boot up normally and hopefully you are now out of the boot loop. Okay, if you're still stuck, then we're going to go to the next possible option. Okay, so you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. So what we're going to do now is go ahead, you can go ahead and unplug it. Now what we're going to do here is what I call the tap method. Okay, we're going to hold the phone like this in your hand. You're going to get two fingers and you're going to tap all over the screen and all over in the back. The whole premise behind this is very possible that you have a ribbon that's slightly dislodged and a little tap can possibly pop it back into place okay so hold the phone like this let's pretend i'm stuck in a boot loop here grab two fingers and you want to tap kind of hard all over the screen okay and sometimes as you're doing this you'll notice you'll get out of the boot loop okay or other times it's just going to continue to go in the boot loop no problem just keep tapping everywhere just keep going tap all over same thing on the back side, okay? Tap kind of hard, tap, tap. Even all around the lens, okay? If you don't want to get your camera lens dirty, you can put like a cloth on there or something like that. But we're just gonna go ahead and just keep tapping all over. Just like that. Now turn the phone over and see if you are out of the boot loop. If it's still stuck in a boot loop from here, no problem. Again, from here, press and hold that power button and don't let go until you see the um, the Motorola logo appear, then you can let go, okay? Well, hopefully you're up and running now. If not, then we're gonna to go to the next possible step. Okay, so if you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. What we're gonna do now is what I call the massage method. So basically, we're gonna hold the phone like this with two hands, and we're gonna use our thumbs and we're gonna massage it. We're gonna press it all over the screen and all over the back. The same premise with the tapping. You may have a, a um, cable or a ribbon that's slightly dislodged, okay? Anyway, if you don't want to dirty, smudge up your screen or anything, you can use a cloth or even a paper towel or whatnot. So we'll start off on the screen here, and I'm going to hold my thumb like this, and I'm as I'm pressing down with my thumb, I'm pressing on the back of the phone too, okay? So we can go ahead and press, press, and pretend my phone's still stuck in a boot loop here, press. Now, if you're pressing somewhere and you hear a little click, just wait a little bit and see if it boots up normally, okay? Anyway. If you're still in a boot loop, no problem. Massage, 
massage, massage all over. And the same thing on the back side here, okay? You want to press, 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 press. And you got to get around the lens too, okay? Press. You don't want to dirty it up. Go ahead and throw something on there and just press. Nice massage, nice massage. Just like that, flip it over and see if you are out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in a boot loop from here, no problem. Remember, press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see the Motorola logo appear, then let go. Now, if you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. We'll move on to the next step. So the next step here is what I call the smack method. What we're gonna do is hold your hand out like this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna smack the screen and smack the back as well. The same premise with the tapping and the massage method, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and, if you don't wanna smudge up your screen here, you can put like a cloth or something on your hand, but we'll start off on the screen here, and then what we're gonna do is smack it, the screen, and also on the bottom of the screen. Okay, now go ahead and look at your phone. Maybe you wanna give it like five or 10 seconds to see if it gets out of the boot loop. Still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. Now we're gonna go ahead and smack the back of the phone, okay? So we're gonna... Also on the bottom back. Just like that, see if you're still stuck in a boot loop. You're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. Remember, press and hold that power button. Do not let go of that power button until you see the Motorola logo appear on the screen, then you can let go, okay? And hopefully you are now out of the boot loop. If not, then we're gonna to go to the next possible step. All right, so you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. So the next step here is I want you to do this. Go ahead and grab your phone just like this. It's nice and naked, no caser on it. There's no case or nothing on this. Go to your freezer, put this in your nice cold freezer and leave it in there for maybe 15 to 20 minutes, okay? After 15 to 20 minutes, grab your cold phone out of the freezer and see if you are out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in a boot loop still, then press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see the Motorola, Motorola logo appear then let go, okay? Now, here's the thing. If you guys tried all of these steps and you're still down, then what I would recommend is start from the very beginning of step one, step two, step three, try every step all the way to the freezer method. If it doesn't work a second time, try it three times, four times. Try it at least seven times. Sometimes the seventh time is a charm, okay? Now, the thing is, if you tried it seven times, I'm gonna say at least 80% of you guys should now have a screen that's working. You should be out of the boot loop. Now, if you're still in the boot loop, the last step I have for you is you can go ahead and try to do a factory reset, okay? So this is a uh, maybe. I don't, I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see um, uh, the words and stuff for the factory reset. But if you try to set all the steps seven times, it didn't work, then you can try to factory reset. Now, don't forget with a factory reset, you will lose all you know your personal documents, your photos and videos and whatnot. So if you want to proceed for the um, with the uh, factory reset, then you want to do this, okay? So pretend my, my phone is stuck in a boot loop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold the volume down and power button. I'm going to press and hold both buttons at the same time, and I'm going to keep on holding. I'm not going to let go until I see a dead Android, Android robot, little green dead robot, okay? So let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop here. Volume down, power, ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons, do not let go. Just continue to hold both buttons until we see a dead Android green guy. It's a little green bot, still holding on, volume down, power, still holding. Okay, now hopefully you guys get to this screen where um, uh, you see the, uh, dead, the dead bot here, okay? So from here, now it says start right now, we can move up and down the volume rockers. What we wanna do is go down to where it says Recovery mode. To select it, you want to go ahead and tap the power button. So tap the power button right there. Now give it one second here. Now we should see a no command down here with a dead bot. Okay, dead bot, no command. Now from here, what you want to do is you want to press and hold that power button, hold the power button, and then tap the volume up once. Just like that, okay? And now we're in the um, Android recovery menu here and you can use the volume rockers to move up or down. And if you can go down to white data slash factory reset, okay? And if you wanna proceed with the factory reset, you go ahead and tap on the uh, power button. 
tap on the power button and then uh, this in the red is basically saying this cannot be undone so once you go down to factory data reset and you tap that uh, power button you cannot go back okay it's going to factory reset the phone so that may fix the issue with your boot loop if it was a software issue maybe it was software or maybe it was an app that was causing the issue okay anyway for me I'm not going to factory reset this so I'm just going to move back up to cancel and I'll press the power button to select it and then reboot system now I'll just go ahead and reboot the system now so it just boots up normally anyway I hope this uh, helped you guys out if this got if this uh, helped you guys out please comment below uh, what method worked for you or what combination sometimes it is a com what combination of methods that you think worked for you as well okay anyway do you guys go good luck guys